What's up everybody, welcome to BioWise 3 Raw TV. Today we're going to talk about something that I feel like is a big deal, not a big deal, but it makes a difference, okay? A lot of people are like, oh, this is no different, this doesn't make a difference. This does make a difference, and um, I just think it's interesting that there's a scientific article to back it up. Now, they don't go too in-depth as to why, so that's why I'm making the video, to explain to you guys why this now. What the fuck am I talking about? I always start these videos and have to go backtrack. So the Muscle PhD, which... I don't have anything against this guy whatsoever. I think that he tries really hard to put out the best information he can, but because he's so scientific and he's locked inside that box, a lot of the things are unfinished. And by what I mean is unfinished is there's pieces missing at the end. Like he only has so much information. And then on that topic, it just ends where there should be more information explaining more But because there's no scientific studies that he can reference it doesn't go any further than just what he goes from the scientific study so this one is actually on protein blends so they did this study okay and uh this was done by i mean there's all these fucking names that shit on this shit but uh this was 2000 and let's see the journal of strength conditioning research 2013 that this came out so it's actually been out quite a while right and it's basically the effects of protein and amino acid supplementation on performance and training adaptations during 10 weeks of resistance training. Now, what they did was they used 40 grams of whey protein or 40 grams of whey and casein. And what they wanted to do was see if there was a difference in using just whey or using whey and casein. Now, all the IIFM crowd out there would just say it doesn't fucking matter. This doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. And I've actually had people that have dieted down that have chosen one specific source of protein to eat because and one that comes to mind is my friend Brooks which he wanted to do all tuna and I was like why and he said I can just buy these like big cans like a coffee can at Costco and I can weigh it out and just suck it down real quick with some water he's like instead of cooking and he's like I just you know I was at the point with the diet where he was getting ready for a show and he's like I just need to get the food down none of it's enjoyable at all but it's easier if I don't cook right now. I just don't have the energy. I was like, fine. So what we do is we supplemented essential amino acids along with that tuna to make up for the difference because we were just getting one source of protein, which I think most people don't understand. They just think protein is protein. So this study is kind of backing up what we did with Brooks, which this happened 2011. So way before this study came out, two years before this study came out. So what they did was they took in this study, 40 grams away, 40 grams of uh, Way well, here's what's interesting. No, I'm sorry, 48 grams away, 40 grams away, and eight grams of casein. So there's still 48 grams. The protocol was trained subjects, they consume supplements after training, they train four days a week for 10 weeks, no diet differences outside of the supplements, and DEXA scans are performed for body comp measurements. The outcome, okay, what do you think the outcome is? Because the um, the IFRM crowd say, well, yeah, protein's protein, aminos are aminos, like, it's all the fucking same, it's not going to matter. Whether it's casein, whether it's whey, whether blah, 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 they're going to say it doesn't matter. But the science says it fucking matters. Now, the outcome was whey plus casein group made better gains. At the least effective, uh, the least effective was the whey alone from other studies. The whey and casein is likely the best combination. Further research is needed for other blends. This is the muscle PhD fucking rating, like what his general fucking thoughts are first of all more research is needed uh whey and casein is the ultimate like that's that's the uh likely the best combination what hang on time out too many players in the field this guy can't fucking be serious so we're gonna break this whole fucking thing down so when you have whey protein by itself which is supposed to be the most bioavailable like a listen egg protein is the most bioavailable we've known that for a long time but Whey protein, and when you hydrolyze it, and you fucking peptide it, and you fucking do all these different things to how it's the fucking holy grail. Not true, okay? Technically, it's a good source of protein with high amounts of leucine, the branched chain amino acids, etc. Fine. However, it's not the ultimate holy grail. You can't do just whey for the rest of your life because you will fall short. I'm going to explain right now why. Many years ago, we're talking like probably 20 years ago, food combining came along. And food combining was not just, um, they did stuff like, you know, chicken. A piece of chicken combined with a piece of tuna combined with a piece of steak combined with a piece of um, turkey along with one egg white. So it was weird because you had this plate of like these multiple proteins, right? Food combining. And there's another way of food combining too where they would do like all their proteins in the morning, all carbs in the afternoon, all fat. There's different ways to do it. But the food combining with the protein like 20 years ago was specifically put together so that you would get faster gains. Well, what difference does it make if you just had chicken or if you had chicken all those different proteins? Same thing that we're seeing here with the whey and the casein. 
when you have one source of protein, that protein source's amino acid profile is just that one file, which means that all of the amino acids are in there. There's only certain amounts from that source. So let's just say, throw in some numbers up. Let's say leucine was 1,000 milligrams, valium was like 500 milligrams, whatever the case may be. Those are not necessarily the amounts that your body needs to build new muscle tissue. Okay, we don't really, I don't really know, and I've looked everywhere and everybody's body is different. So the makeup of muscle tissue itself could be a different order of amino acids or amounts of amino acids from person to person. We just don't know. But we do know one protein source is not going to give you all the amino acids that you need. Just like eating like just one certain food is not going to give you all the vitamins you need. You need multiple foods to get multiple vitamins to make sure your body's fully nourished. So let's say you have tuna and chicken and turkey. Each one is going to have the same amino acids, essential amino acids in it, but each one has different amounts of different ones. So this one may have more of one, this one has more of another one, this has more of another one. You combine them together, you get more of all of them, right? So food combining, okay? So if you really wanted to be super like OCD about it, right? And say what I wanted to do, what was absolutely 100% the most optimal, but the biggest pain in the ass at the same time. You would have like maybe one ounce of chicken, and I mean one ounce of chicken would be like a fucking like size of an M&M or some shit, right? One ounce of chicken, one ounce of tuna, one ounce of this, one ounce of that, maybe a half ounce, whatever your ounces are. You would basically divide them by, so let's say you have five ounces, you should divide five ounces by, you know, pro, uh, chicken, turkey, egg whites, whey, casein, tuna, um, beef. Um, that, that's pretty much where you would lie within that, right? So it would be like five, um, you know, divided by seven, okay? Now, as you ingest all those foods, they digest at different rates, you're getting all those amino acids and they're going to be in a lot higher concentrations because each one of those foods has higher concentrations of certain aminos, but they're still all the essential amino acids. Therefore, you'll have more building blocks and more abundance if you food combine. Now, that was 20-something years ago that we fucking knew about that. So you're trying to fucking tell me that these scientists now, like the muscle PhD, who want you to think they're doing groundbreaking shit, couldn't figure out that casein, which has different amino acid profile as whey does, when you combine them together, are going to give you more of the amino acids that you need in more amount. You couldn't figure that out without a fucking study? Like, I, I looked at this and I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is a joke. Like, I thought, it was, I thought he was kidding. I started reading it. I was like, holy shit. He actually put this up like this is fucking news. And I'm like, listen, he might be talking to new people, whatever the case may be, but there's a lot of people that are not new that listen to this fucking shit. And they think it's something fucking new. The problem is you've only been doing it for five years. Like, here's my thing. No matter what you're doing right now, no matter how long you've been doing it, come back and see me in 10 years. I've been doing this 30 years next year. Okay, so if we go 29 years. I always round up. Everything I do, I round up. Even if I'm only 31 years old, I always say, I'm 32. Fuck, I always round up, even if it doesn't benefit me. But, um, okay, so 29 years I've been doing this. Now, when I come see you guys 39 years into it, I'm going to have a different outlook 39 years than I did in 29 years. So the problem is people that have been around long enough to learn more and more information, have more knowledge, have more wisdom, and seen many more things out in the field than these people have, we look at it and go, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Of course it's like that. Whereas everybody else thinks it's groundbreaking news. So this is what I talk about, how people recycle shit over and over again. Like the keto diet. The keto diet was done before Atkins was fucking with it. I think, I mean, it wasn't called the keto diet. It was called another thing, but it was basically just an all meat diet. It wasn't called the carnivore diet. It wasn't called the keto diet. We had Mar de Pasquale come in and we had um, Dan Duchesne come in and create the cycloketogenic diets, which... Bottom line is still it was a keto combined like these are diets that people have doing forever They'd restrict carbs for four days and then eat one. It's kind of carb cycling But it was restricting more than down to zero So now all of a sudden you have like a carb spike like these things have been going on for like the last 30 years There's no new way to diet. There's no new way to train in order for a new diet to, to come out for us to See something completely different We'd have to find another macronutrient or our bodies would have to grow somehow some new system that would have to be nourished by something else, then we would have to find a different way to diet. We have already learned every way to train. We only have certain types of fibers in the fucking muscle. So we already know what it stimulates those muscle fibers, how the body recovers, how it grows. We know type 2B fibers, we know type 2 fibers, type 1. We know red muscle fibers, white muscle fibers. We already know all that shit. So until a new muscle fiber somehow created and grows out of our body, there's no new way to train. We've been doing everything you can possibly do for the last 35 years. So there is nothing new. But you see shit like this, and now people are going to run right out and start combining whey protein with casein. And I'm like, well, do you have chicken and your egg whites in the morning? No, why not? 
I, I don't know why. Well, you combine Casey in with whey, right? Yeah, same fucking thing. Like if you got up in the morning, and did a scramble, and threw some fucking chicken in there, a little bit of ground turkey, and did a scramble like that, some vegetables, dude, you have something that's very well combined food wise to give you a plentiful amount of essential amino acids. Why won't you do that? <clears throat> Excuse me, or why don't you understand that? But you understand whey and casein. You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, it's almost like you have to show somebody like, this is what this is. This is how this works. Do you understand? You have to treat them like they're a little kid because they can't understand this is the same thing as this. But these same fucking people will tell you it's all the same, calories are the same. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, how could you be so much farther on each end of the spectrum, not knowing what the fuck is going on? It's so wrong about everything, but still sound so fucking confident. It drives me nuts. So... Hopefully you guys understand that this is not a video bashing this muscle PhD guy. It's not. You know, it's not, it's not that I don't dislike him. It's not that I dislike him. And I, not that I don't like him. But there's some things that I just not only don't agree with that I feel like he leaves unfinished. That, you know, I don't know how long he's been doing this. I don't know how old the guy is. I don't really know that much about him. I know people follow him and they pay attention to him because it says PhD in his name. I'm like, PhD is leaving a lot of shit out. So that other shit that you need, no PhD is given it to you. But the bottom line is it doesn't really matter as long as you guys get all the information. Then you'll have everything that you need to attain your goals. BiosTrainingGmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. BiosTrainingGmail.com is a blog. It's attain your goals with this shit bicep, and we are out.